G'day. Good, how are you? So, absolutely. Um, Welcome back guys. This week Harry and I have got a week off, so tomorrow we'll be taking the bikes for a week away past the Blue Mountains. But first we've got to make sure that the bikes are good to go. So, we are heading to the car park that we've left our bikes in. Saturday morning and we're taking them both off to... Balmain uh, Motorcycles, in the hope that this two sixes I've got in my top box will be payment enough to help me fit the top box correctly. <laughs> we went down to the garage Thursday, was it Thursday, to see if we could um, get five jobs done, which were what were the jobs? Bash plate. Bash plate, as you can see from this, is what's in this is hand. Didn't work. Didn't didn't work. Risers. Risers do kind of work. I've got now risers attached to risers. That may or may not come that apart. That may or may not waggle loose in rough terrain. Yep. Um, lowered pegs. Lowered pegs. They didn't go on. I don't have a size 14. Well, I do have a size 14 spanner, but it's cheap quality and shitty and large than a size 14 and just started stripping the head off the bolt. Um, steg pegs. Steg pegs. They went on fine. And your... Set up for this. Yeah, that, I've got this. And what do you have to do? Yeah, then um, we need to go find somewhere where we can clean the bikes. Mine's pretty filthy. Uh, yeah. We well, gave it like a bit of a cursory chain clean, um, which just kind of smeared around some dirt because it's <laughs> pretty. It's a bit of a state. So we're kind of going for round two. Um, and I need to clean the air filter and things like that. Okay, there we go. Huh? Ah, oh, amazing. Thank you. Ready, thirty foot. Perfect. Bow mine minus orcles. G'day. Good, how are you? Good. Good. So you come bearing gifts. Absolutely. Um do would would it be okay if I put my bash plate on outside and maybe borrowed a shifting span a spanner or two? Absolutely no worries, bro. Awesome. Do you want to put these in the fridge for you guys then? I'll certainly Is it okay if I keep my camera on? Of course. Wicked. <laughs> All right. Go in the shop, bro, right? help yourself. I'm sure the boys here are from the bloke, so I'll give you a spanner. Okay, wicked. No problems at all, mate. Cheers, thank you very much. I really like these guys at Balmain Motorcycles. They sort me out every time, and they're also like really understanding with all of my like, can I drop the bike off when you're closed, or pick it up when you're closed, or just randomly leave helmets and stuff, and pick it up at my convenience, or come here and just fix the bike myself and pay you in beers. Legends. Get it? Yeah. Are you the best 
bike fixing. At the moment, I am putting on new foot pegs for Harry. This is a bit tall for his bike. Um, these are going on this way, right? Harry? They're going on this way. So I, so I stacked with that and, it, and I sort of bent it back into shape on the road. So it's a bit sticky out here, I think, if I just fold it back in from there. So I had a bit of a crash and that's what became of my old blinker indicator. So I got some new ones that said they were compatible with a DR650, uh, but they're KTM ones. So I'm just going to splice these wires together here. Hopefully that will work. Oh, lovely. It's a lovely day. This is a nice pub, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um. I'll roll it down there. I just, I just left the battery on for a bit too long. Too many times, I think. No biggie.
so at the moment I have this weird double riser set up which is awesome for cruising but I just don't know if that's going to hold so I'm not sure about loosening those up it's also slightly pulling on those cables I'm not sure about this whole set up with standard thingy risers but then they're too far back towards me so then I tilted them because they didn't have the top clamp of the uh. okay I'm testing I'm testing this one <laughs> the handlebars are stupid <laughs> I didn't stall. Oh. Yeah, hang on. Oh, no. <laughs> Think I'm okay. New boots look good. Yeah. How are they feeling? Taking some getting used to it with the gear lever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you find until they loosen up, you have to like move your whole knee forward. Yeah. Am I going into your lane or are we going okay? Oh, we can. Are we, we can... going to that service station? Yeah. With my tank open. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I made it out to thingy. Where are we? Somewhere west. And I've got us some milkshake coffees. They are milkshakes. Who smells the petrol, is it? I guess you do. That would be me. Lift goes 83. We're going left at Falls Road. We just need to keep an eye out for it. That's what that sign back there said, because we are at, at Wentworth Falls now. Right, so two kilometres down here, and we will see the actual falls of Wentworth Falls. How's the serenity? Some big cliffs. Yeah. Right. One down. Next huh. one, three sisters. Three sisters, yep.
three sisters. Okay, let's go. Where do you want to go? All right, guys, we're going to leave it there so we can stop and get a bit of lunch. In the next episode, we're going to be picking it up and doing an afternoon of off-roading after we've checked into our hotel for the first of a five-day road trip. As always, thank you for checking out the video. Hopefully we'll see you again next week with our second instalment. Bye. I was trying to get my phone.